My name is Tor Vonner. I am a painter and I love painting impressionistic style. Um, color is also something that I like to exaggerate and I don't know, resonate with other people through color and brush my brush strokes and feeling. In college, I was I was forced to use acrylic because we weren't allowed to use oils. And in high school, I used a lot of watercolors because that's all we had. So <laughs> it was basically <laughs> wherever I could get art supplies, you know. And then now I'm delving more into egg tempera too. I've been learning, loving to layer that on top of acrylic. I've always painted since I was like a kid. My dad taught me when I was young. We went up to Vermont for our yearly trips. So I would always paint up there. I actually learned from one of the Von Traps because we went to Trap Family Lodge. I just always loved painting out there with my dad. And it's like recent, only like the last five years or so I've been doing it more just for myself. Now it's like more my part-time passion, which makes me happy. Every single painting is different. Um, sometimes I can sit down and do a painting in like a few hours, like depending on the size, but Sometimes it's many months of just sitting there and I don't know what to do next, you know? And I'm like, I know it's not done, but I don't know what it is yet. Painting is part of how I have healed because I did only do it, start doing it regularly like five or six years ago. And that's around when I have realized that I do paint meditatively. Like I really zone out sometimes and I'm just somewhere else and it just feels nice in my head, like just clear it. And it's just a different tool that I've been using to help me get through those dark moments. When people think about fine art or paintings, it's always like, who's the most, you know, who's gonna make, make me the most money or what's gonna be worth the most? And I just don't feel like you could ever know that. So you should just support who you think you want to support, not what society tells you to. And I just don't think art itself is as appreciated as it should be. Um, because it inspires everybody. It's hard to be an artist not supported. It's so hard to get stuck and to not feel like worth, like feel like you're worth part of being society if you're not being supported, at least in some, in some extent, you know? That's the push beach. It's a reservation technically. So I had to get like a sticker to go onto it and stuff. And it was actually quite a hike to get to the beach. When I first got to this spot, I actually cried. I was just so overwhelmed with emotion. It was so beautiful and like there was nobody around, but I didn't have my camera with me. So I had to like go back to my beach blanket and like I had to go back and take a picture of that because I want to paint it. A lot of times people see my work in person and they realize how much better it is in person than digitally. I always get that reaction like and I think because everyone just is used to looking at everything on a phone you know but it's it doesn't really capture what the piece makes you feel in person like you can see the brush strokes more and like just feel it more. Online is it's, it has its place definitely it's how I get people to come to my show or get people intrigued enough to want to come to my show <laughs> you know um, but yeah I definitely think just getting your work out there in the way it's meant to be displayed is always the goal, you know? Like film, yes, digitally that works, that usually does, that works more, but painting, not as much. The reason I was drawn to Lowell is because of the art community. Um, and that's why I went to the brush, because it just helped me, that family just helped me learn all the different communities and artists in the area and there's a great, there's a great community. In the beginning, when I started painting more for myself, I did do a lot of brick, like industrial type paintings. Um, and I just kind of shifted away from that. But it was fun just to like, cause I was using like palette knife and just being really expressive. And I, I was more into abstract at the beginning. And I, I do go back and forth, um, which I just keeps, I think keeps my brush strokes loose and like keeps, you know, just to make your brain think a different way. My dad's actually a moon and like star photographer. So every once in a while I want to paint one of from one of his photos and that's like a lot more based on science. So it's just interesting. Like I always try to paint whatever I'm gravitating towards, not what people want me to paint. <laughs> Cause I feel like that's a, a bad place to be in, <laughs> you know? <laughs> My Instagram is Tors, T-O-R-S dot ot, A-H-H-T. And my website is Torsat.com.
So T-O-R-S-A-H-H-T.com.